Winner of the week for me, Darren Till, right? Darren Till gets it. He just gets it. One of the big misses here with this whole Chemayev disaster, I call it a disaster because the guys in two different divisions are now getting exposed as fake tough guys. Not bad enough that Chemayev backed down one division. He's now forced open cowardice upon two divisions. But there were so many ways to play that. First off, you could be the guy that jumps on that grenade. Good for you. With big risk comes big reward. Good for you. Or you could be even smarter and offer to jump on a grenade and then go nowhere near the war zone, which is what Darren Till did. Darren Till's already got a fight. He can't go fight Shemayev. He's already got a fight coming up. I was waiting for somebody who was already busy and booked, who had a fight coming up or was on the injury list that couldn't go out and do it. Offer to the fight. Take the credit. Darren Till now gets all the credit. By the way, this isn't a ruse by Darren Till. Darren Till is a legit badass. Darren Till fought Kelvin Gastelum in a different weight class. Darren Till went out there and fought just recently Robert Whitaker. Again, at middleweight, which is a different weight class than where he fought for a world championship at one point. I only offer for you. Yes, Dar Darren Till's legit. Darren Till will go out and fight. We all understand that. But there's still a play to be made there. There's still a headline to be made there. I don't know, understand how these guys who aren't booked for fight will go out and not call him out. I mean, if all you're looking to do is get a headline anyway, call him out. Ponzanibo, by the way, where is he? Pons, Pons won like seven fights or seven out of eight fights or eight out of nine. Pons has been doing some crazy stuff. Where is he? I looked into this. I actually went and looked into this. And as far as I could get in my, my level of research, which consisted a search on Google, he had like a shoulder injury, but that was in 2018 and is allegedly healed right now. I'm just asking a question. Where is Pons? Pons is one of these other Leon Edwards types, straight up badass. For whatever reason, isn't known in the States. Doing some great stuff internationally. People respect him. The rankings are showing that. He's just not a known guy. You know the name, but if you walked in your kitchen and slapped you right now, you probably couldn't tell the police who just assaulted you, right? It's just one of those things. He could really use someone like Chemayev. He could really use that rub. I don't predict for you that Pons is going to get the fight. I'm just asking a question in sincerity because I don't know the answer. Where's Pons and Nebo? We keep hearing about these guys getting slighted. Leon comes to mind. Very fair, and he is being slighted. So is Pons. And it seems like it's incumbent on him to do something about that. But I, I think he's injured. I read about this shoulder thing, and perhaps it didn't heal. If anybody has an answer, leave me a comment below.